Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today I'm gonna be doing a bag up. Yeah, you heard me right, a bag up. You don't hear that from me very often, do you? But, well, I do try to keep some of my data safe. A lot of my data is pfft, whatever, but some of them I do like to keep safe. And up here on this, what is this? Eculatic, Dell Eculatic Sand. I have the data from my film company stored. Um, some feature films and some short films that we have made. And I have a lot of the raw materials up there. And yeah, I have a copy on one and a copy on the other one, but it's not very safe having everything one place. So I would really like to copy that with me back home or even better, my good buddy that I have this film company with, he has just gotten a new NAS box and he was bragging about how big it was and that he wouldn't run out of space in a long time. So. Um, I'm gonna hand him over six terabytes of data that he can keep safe. So uh, I've been handling this for 10 years. Maybe it's time to share that. Up here I have two ecologic sands, one here, one there. And I have a spare one there that is not really on. But those two are on right now. So um, I really forget if the data is uh, on this one or if the it's like divided a little bit, so um, uh, one of them contains everything and the other one has a bag of, of the most important stuff. So I want to take the entire bag up, but it's on one of them. These ecologic sands are, they have like two controllers in the back and they have each three network cards, but I, I'm not getting the speed out of these that I would have expected. They are not performing as I would have liked them to, so I'm not sure what's going on there, but, but I do want to copy data to a, another location as well. Here we are on the back of it. Each of them is a box like this, and I have this top one. I have that connected with three networks connections. There are two controllers. This is one controller, and this is another controller and they're like redundant. Uh, down here I have another one, it's only connected with two network connections and I don't think that one is plugged in. So um, yeah, it's not lighting up at least. So yeah, we're gonna try and see if we can copy data of these. These sandboxes are iSCSI sand and that's uh, really smart because iSCSI sand uses the TCP protocol over IP so you can connect the iSCSI sand to your regular network uh, switch and you will just have your storage online so uh, not a stupid idea at all but it's not moving data as fast as I would really like it to I did some testing in the living room and um, well let's just go see that so one of the first problems with this um, ecologic iSCSI SAN is that the interface this is the web interface for it and it runs Java and the Java is so old and bucky and full of security issues that it took me half an hour to just get a bloody picture through it and I had to press um, I agree to like yeah more than one security issue that I had to put my good name on um, but in here I have this Lone Tower library and that's um, all our data so that's what I really want to copy off here we can kind of see the array here here is the data store and down here it's complaining the internal battery is worn out it says it down here time of date battery is low so that's the warning I guess I hope and it's complaining about a uh, drive 6 has a history of failures so that's not a good thing. I really like this view where you get the box from the front and it it tells you if there is any problem it, there's like a triangle here and it tells you when you put the cursor on top of it it tells you what's wrong so that is cool then there is the controller which might be why this is uh, not performing as well as expected mm. 
no it says it's all good in here so the controller is probably just the battery so all of this is set up in a rate 6 is it oh i forget it's set up in rate at least i believe there is two hot spares uh yeah it's set up in at least rate 6 uh, with two hot spares there are 14 drives so there is like 10 drives of storage here and all of these drives are two terabytes that's all good but it's not performing as good so let's let's get some some windows here this is the temporary directory on my computer and um, i have used this in a previous video uh, where we were also testing speed mounted the lone tower library down here as my e drive so if we go in there and projects uh, we have some we have a birthday party here that we were recording. This is years back. Um, so if we go in here and I want to copy this folder, which contains about 20 gigabytes of film footage over here. Let's just copy that. And um, we can see that it's, it's moving over with way too little. That's like three, four megabytes per second. It's gonna take forever. And um, well, I think that this iSCSI sands uh, really needs to be emptied out and reformatted and get a firmware update and all that good stuff. But I really don't want to do that with all the data on it. So I'll at least want a very good copy of that before I start messing around with it. Actually, now the speed is coming up. so might not um, be as bad but it should really move over with something a good steady 100 megabytes per second i would expect seeing from a uh, a sand like this i do remember when this sand was new i didn't get it from new but it was new at some point and this is a hundred thousand dollar sand i would expect more than this i don't have a um six terabyte hard drive just laying around waiting for something like this to happen so i had to go order that so i actually bought three hard drives and they came wrapped in this funny way and i got this from the local hardware pusher so um this one is the one that i'm planning to use for this and you can't see anything i really went all the way out um actually i didn't I uh, see now that 12 terabyte hard drives are available, but this is a 10 terabyte hard drive. And well, and this is a Skyhawk and this brand or model of their hard drive, probably just the firmware that is on here is really meant for putting into a surveillance system. So like uh, putting in data, overriding data all the time. It's not really meant for this, but it was cheap. I don't understand why this is cheaper than all the other well i could get uh, the archive drive um, the seagate archive drive but well i wanted to try something else so we're gonna get this uh, skyhawk and it's um, there's an eagle on here so that's pretty cool and um, i need to put it in a box and we'll go do that and connect that to the computer I also got two other drives because I'm actually running out of space up here on my little backup NAS. Um, I have a Synology 411J and um, that one I got two Bakuda uh, four terabytes for. Um, now that the mailman had to take the long trip anyway, I didn't want him to just come with one hard drive. So I, I got two of those as well um, and I'm gonna stretch it a little bit because my little brother he wants a hard drive for um, for Christmas he wants a two terabyte or a three terabyte and and one of these are definitely gonna make a two or three terabyte uh, hard drive available for me to give away to my brother for Christmas um, so I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna upgrade the little NAS box here during the weekend as well and at least get two or three terabytes more disk space on that one too. So yeah, these were very thin. I just noticed that they're not very tall. They're very thin like that. It was definitely 
thinner than this one. This one is like almost twice as, no, maybe not at all, one third thicker than the four terabytes. So, yeah, cool. Um, yeah, this one we put away for now. This one we will go and put in a box. Well, so out here in the in the hallway, besides the the dusty red wine, which clearly shows that I drink way too little, um, I have a box here, and I've saved some hard drive boxes in here because I have before I bought boxes like this. This is a Western Digital My Book. It came with a four terabyte hard drive, and at the time as I bought this. That was the cheapest way to get a four terabyte hard drive. This is some years back. Now four terabyte drives are, I think they're almost one third of what I paid for it when I got this one. I kept this because it came with a good box. I also have one here, also a Western Digital. I believe that was a three terabyte box. Uh, so let's, um, let's see if we can fit that. So let's see what we got here. Uh, opens out that way. Oh, saved all that. Cool. Uh, documentation. Hmm. Warranty, maybe. But it's just a stupid plastic box here, and it comes with a power connector and this thing. Uh, this is a USB 3 connector. I am not sure if this is USB 3. It doesn't look USB 3-ish to me. Although this looks a lot easier to mount. But let's go with the USB 3 box. And save this USB 2 thing here. Um, it has this weird little print. Which it's both cool and tiny well let's get the skyhawk installed in the drive bay i don't know if we can get it in or if i just have to have it laying outside it would be a lot better to give my friend the, the box instead of just a loose hard drive with a print hanging out of it so uh, if that is possible we're going to do that so Here we are. Oh, it's a brand new expensive hard drive like this. Always looks pretty good. Uh, this hard drive was 2,000, almost, almost 2,500 Danish kroners, uh, which is somewhere between 400 and 500 dollars. Let's buy, start by putting in this print. That's pretty easy. Just pop that in, connect it. There are some rubber things here, and they probably don't fit anything. There's a connector there, there are two screws. We need a screwdriver, don't we? There we are. Um, this little print just screws down into the hard drive. It's not badly made. It's, it's actually pretty cool that they've done it like that. I think this one goes here. I have no idea if this uh, circuit board will be able to handle 10 terabytes. So um, we are definitely uh, testing here. If it doesn't work, well, we will find another solution to do this. This is a pretty cool way they have figured out how to uh, how to remove the stress from this connection so that uh, the connector doesn't break on the circuit board, but instead are mounted to the entire hard drive. So good thinking there. I'm gonna see if I can get this rubber thingy here to do anything. Otherwise I'll just probably gaffer it. Okay, it kind of sits here. Uh, this hard drive uh, looks to be bigger than the one that was meant to go in this box. So up here, there's not gonna be room for the rubber feedy thing here that uh, are usually there. I could probably put this on, but if this doesn't work, um, it would be a lot less hassle if that one is not on. 
So we're gonna test it out that way. I have a power supply for it here. It's 12 volt, 1.5 amps. So um, let's go connect this to the computer and see if it works. Okay, so I moved the box into the computer and I have even plugged in some power here. Uh, and we're gonna plug in, can reach from there. So we're gonna try and plug in some USB. I do believe, I hope this is USB 3 on the front of my computer. I'm plugging it in right. Plug in power. It spins up. So let's go to the computer and see what that sees. Windows 10 here. It, uh, it found my book. It found that disk one there. And yes, I think we will select the GPT partition there. And uh, let's see how big it sees that. Yeah, that's not that's not gonna cut it. It sees it as a four terabyte hard drive. So probably the electronic in that book thing. That's not gonna do it. I did not get a 10 terabyte hard drive to only use three terabytes. So not gonna work for us. So we're gonna, we're gonna try the other box, which is only USB 2, but better USB 2 than only four terabytes. Well, definitely less of a fancy setup here, but it's actually working. I put in this, uh, this is the circuit board from the other hard drive box flat one where it's laying down and over here at the computer we now have a 9.3 something right here 9.314 terabytes or 9314 gigabytes so we're gonna go and initialize that drive and yes it's gonna do that we are gonna create a new simple drive next we are gonna I am gonna be fine with drive D. That's marvelous. And we're gonna call it something big. My Playhouse 10 terabytes. Mm. NTFS size. Size does matter, but we're not gonna be using it. And the data that we're copying, some of it is big files and some of it is very tiny files. Some of the raw materials, some of is single frame pictures, like 200,000 pictures that becomes a film in the end. So it's both big and small files. So next, finish. So it's formatting that. It's hopefully gonna perform a quick format. Otherwise, <laughs> Yes, it completed the format. I think I will um, dismount it and see if I can fit it in the box because it's probably gonna be copying here for a couple of days or something like that. Uh, so I don't really wanna have it sitting like this on the table if, if I can put it in a box. So I managed to get the disc into the box. So let's see if, if this will fit here. It's not happy about it. Okay, it's in the box. So it's a bit more solid than before. I'm gonna put the connector in first and then put it down. Add the power. Hopefully it's going to pop up in here again, otherwise I've broken it already. Wouldn't be a good thing. Boom, 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 boom. Anytime soon now. There we are. I said, there we are. And there we are. Okay, that took quite a bit. So I'll um, try and get something to copy this with. I don't think that Windows copy thinky is always the best. Okay, I'm copying over about 11 gigabytes right now and it, uh, it says it's gonna take about nine minutes and 30 seconds. 
and it's transferring with 20 uh, and then it drops typical um, it was between 20 and 30 megabytes per second um, yeah that's not very fast but um, that's the whole point of this experience because I'm not satisfied with the speed and well let's have a chat about that so let's talk about this slow data or well not performing very well is a bad thing but no data at all is a lot worse so uh, when you have an issue like this like this sand i think we're dealing with this one right now um, and it's performing very slowly and i think that i've mixed mapped too many drives so there's like 7200 rpms and and, and 5400 rpms and 5900 rpms and a lot of different drives in there so i am in my head that's probably not a good thing maybe that is pulling the whole array down and it has to wait for the slowest drive plus these drives are very old as you can see one of the hot spares has a predicted bad failure so well i thought that maybe i should empty out these and then try and find an issue or replace them or something like that but if i just started right now and trying to um, to find that error and and swap drives out and there's a very big chance that i would fuck something up and all my data would just go poof. and well i do have another backup up here right but well uh, you know the idiot might start to take drives from up there and put them down there and before the idiot has uh, figured out what's going on well he destroyed both arrays so i find it much safer to use the slow time and move everything away have a good copy and then i can fuck up all of it and doesn't matter it's just gonna be another copy and well even though it might take two days to copy it back in it would, if I fix the problem it probably doesn't take that long but it might take a while to copy all that data back in but it would at least not be lost and that's the worst thing better slow data than no data so um, I'm mostly sharing this experience because it kind of sucks to copy out six terabytes of data with 20 megabytes per second I hope I can get the computer running faster but I don't know. I was um, I was gonna try and see how Windows Copy was doing. We saw that just before. Then I was gonna try and get some other Copy utility and see if if there is any improvement. I don't give that much of a chance. But well, five megabyte extra per second would actually make a big difference when we're talking about six terabytes of data that I need to copy over. So let's go see how the computer is doing and, and if I can find a good copy solution. You might as well go and put in the comments which copy solution I should have used because I know you're gonna do that anyway. And remember we are on Windows, so all your Linux ninjas, um, Windows. So seeking out the best copy utilities, I just search for a best Windows copy thingy and there's a lot of programs for exactly that I found here someone is comparing the 15 best there's even a page 2 here and at the very bottom they have actually made a some test scenarios they have tested all 15 programs together with uh, Windows XP covering Windows 7 and Windows 8 copying data over uh, funny enough it seems that Windows XP is faster than both 7 and 8 which is unfortunate because I'm using Windows 10 so that would probably be even slower so I've looked at all of these and um, and it also has this Terra copy which I have used before but it doesn't get any well it gets good results here it does not get a good result here it gets in the middle result there none all the green ones are the best results like that's a really good result the red ones are really terrible results i think it's best for me to just stay with windows copy and um, that way i don't have to install anything i did go over here to ninai 
and Terra Copy is still available as a really easy install. Um, so I was just about to push the install on that until I saw that. So, uh, well, as you can see over here, I have 6.9, 6.09 terabytes that I need to move over here. Um, if I just drag this whole this uh, project folder over there, it's gonna be all of these folders that I have to copy over there at once. That might be a good idea, but if something goes wrong, it's a lot of trouble to figure out where it was in the copy. Um, so I think I will create that directory over here and I'll take a couple of directories at a time and put over there. And that way I just feel like I have more control of what is going on. So we're gonna borrow that name so that it, it called the same thing over here. And we're just gonna create a new directory and give it that name. We go in here and over here and we're gonna select the three first directories and copy those and that will take forever and ever and ever but well that's just how that is that's actually 203 gigabytes being copied over and it's approximately four hours so forever and ever and ever and ever is today four hours okay the first copy took hours i just went in and i checked it if there was the same amount of files on the new drive as uh, where it came from and if the sizes was the same and it was so I started the next copy which is uh, 1.78 terabytes that it's gonna copy over right now it says that that's gonna take more than a day um, it will probably drop a little bit but yeah I did see speeds around 30 megabytes per second which is still ridiculous uh, but it's surely better than the well, right now it, it goes up and down a lot. I have no idea what it's doing there. And that is why I wanna copy the data out of here because it's just not performing as I was hoping it should. I'll try and empty this out and I'll do something with it. A new little thing here on YouTube. Um, YouTube has made a community tab on my page. So, um, there is actually, it's kind of like Facebook. You can go and check the community tab and I'm able to post some stuff in there. I have only posted one little thing and that's the link to my Christmas film. One of the films of the raw material that I'm actually copying over. Uh, not yet, but it's down there. <laughs> and so I'm hoping that I'll be copying that raw film over tomorrow, but under the community tab, I've posted a link for that Christmas film. It's in Danish, but they don't say much. Thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel and give it that thumbs up. That helps so much. And have a really nice day. Bye bye.